Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give you a roadmap of how you can crack consulting interviews in three months. Yes, there are three components to this particular interview. Number one is industry information. Number two is specific case practice. And number three is personal interviews practice. All the three are important and I'm going to share with you a PDF and also a few templates which can help you track your preparation from day one to day 90. So let's get started with the first step. How do you gather that industry information and how do you keep moving forward? So let's open the PDF and see what is there in this PDF. There are three ways in which you can consume information which can help you with your consulting interview prep. The first one is related to business insights. These business insights, there are three sources as I'm sharing in this PDF. The first one is McKinsey Insights. The second one is Bain Briefs. And the third one is Goldman Sachs Reports. On this PDF, I'm sharing you the actual links where you can go ahead and directly read these reports. Now, why are these important for you to know? because these are long form articles where they are talking about industry trends. They don't talk about numbers. They talk about what are the business reasons why certain things are happening in the world right now. And this is based on their expertise in the field. And just another small caveat over here that these people, when they are creating these reports, they also have the same information, same research based on which they are creating the case interview questions. So you are attacking the source of information from which these case interview questions are being built. So please don't miss out on these insights. The second source of information for you comes from the business news that you should follow on a day-to-day -day basis because these things also talk about the trends that are happening every single day. And there are two newspapers that I would recommend. Number one is Business Standard within India and number two is Wall Street Journal for Global News. Again, the only reason being the backlinks in both these cases are extremely good. What do I mean by backlinks? If you're reading an article, if there is some background information regarding that article that you should be knowing, somewhere in the article, they will give you a hyperlink and that will take you to the prior article to the prior article. That way, you know the full story. The third information regarding current affairs, you can get from two sources, NPR. NPR is the place from which all the radio stations in the US get their information. So this is the actual root of the information flow on social media. So if you get some information from NPR, that is absolute truth or closest to the absolute truth that you can find on social media. And the next source is the quarterly reports that companies publish. Because when you go ahead and start looking at the analyst reports, the analyst reports is about how they perceive the information coming from these quarterly reports. But if you go ahead and look at the quarterly reports, those are facts. So continue to read through these articles, read through these informations every single day for at least one month. No questions, just read them casually. Don't debate about whether this will be helpful for you, not helpful for you, so on and so forth, but just consume this information every single day. Because without knowing the information, how can you solve a case problem in the case interview setup? However, there is one small caveat over here that if you belong to a specific industry, if you have more than five years, 10 years experience, and you are targeting that specific industry itself, once again within consulting, probably all the information that you consume can also revolve around the same industry. But if you don't have so much industry experience or if you are looking to go in as a general consultant, then you have to just take all the information from everywhere else. Once you start doing this for the first one month, slowly I would ask you to transition and start taking your own notes and track what is happening across different industries. Trust me, there are not many places in the entire internet where you understand the revenue drivers, the cost drivers and the trends that are happening across industries. And what do I mean by revenue cost drivers? Revenue drivers, for example, for airlines company could be, hey, Indigo, what are the ways in which it is earning revenues? It could be through buying or selling air tickets. It could be through selling baggage fees or it could be through getting some cargo services, right? These are the revenue drivers, the different ways in which these companies can get revenues. Similarly, the cost drivers are about what are the various ways in which they spend money. It could be on fuel, it could be on pilot expenses, or it could be cabin crew, or it could be maintenance fee, or it could be anything. 
Now, these revenues and cost drivers, you prepare your own list across industries based on your readings because this is not available everywhere and the third most important thing the industry trends that is definitely not available anywhere so you need to create your own repository for each one industry one page for industry i am giving you the link to this format how you can take down these notes just take a printout and just start writing down the notes whenever you read an article associated with one industry and this would be great practice because just going into the interviews you can just skim through the notes i would highly recommend take a physical printout of this template 20 to 30 pages and then write it out for different industries by yourself the third step once you start consuming this information and start drafting this information for another week right you have to start reading the information itself in a very very different way for example on the same pdf i'm giving you an example of an article from goldman sachs the article title is commercial real estate risks now before you go ahead click on that link and start reading that article i would ask you to do few things Take two minutes and think about what could have gone into the article. What could be the commercial real estate risks? Take two minutes, think about it, write down your answer and then open the article and search for the answer. What are the commercial real estate risks? Are they talking about pandemic or are they talking about rising interest rates or are they talking about something else which you did not cover in your own analysis? Once you start doing this for every article, you will be in a position where you can remember a lot of things. Don't do this on day one. Don't do this tomorrow. You first casually read articles. Then you start writing the notes and only then after a month you do this. Otherwise you get scared and you will definitely stop doing the entire plan itself. So that's your third step. And once you move into this step, you will enjoy reading different articles and this will be your brain teasers on every single day. Highly recommend do this for at least 20 minutes and two articles on a daily basis. The amount of information that you would be consuming and remembering would be massive. Then the next step in this phase itself that the information consumption and knowledge building is with respect to you going ahead and putting this entire information on LinkedIn like a post. You write this post because it can help you share your expertise, share your learnings and also telling the others that, hey, this is something of an expert area for you. Also on this PDF, I'm giving you a link to a LinkedIn post where I shared the current consultants who write regularly on LinkedIn. This is extremely important for you to go ahead and check out this post because once you know who is writing on LinkedIn, you can follow them, you can engage with their post. Not about, hey, just this is a great post, thank you for writing. No, I mean, you have been reading a lot now. So when somebody is writing something, you will have an opinion. So add some good value to the post through a comment. This is important for you in two reasons. You are, of course, engaging with that other person, but also you can ask for a referral if something comes out in the next few months. And also, you can go ahead and practice with these experts one or two cases. This would be very, very interesting. Don't miss out this LinkedIn step. Go ahead, check out that post, go through the comments. There are a lot of names of different consultants, current consultants who are active on LinkedIn. This is a gold mine. Now, once you complete this step, the next one is starting to build your own support system. This support system could be the people who you want to practice the cases with, if you are in a college, it's pretty easy, but if you are somewhere in the corporate world, it's very difficult for you to find the right support system. If you need a case partner, why don't you go ahead, put your email ID directly in the comments and somebody would reach out to you and start a small study group. Also, I'm giving you the link to the consulting program that I personally lead, where we get together as a group of consultants, we solve a real time case problem and that might help you build the community angle as well. And also, go read certain articles on McKinsey, BCG, Bain or any of these websites and there are a few authors who are currently associates or currently engagement managers in these companies. Go ahead and start talking to them. This is called as targeted networking. Once you reach out to them, you can tell them what are your views on the article. You can share with them what you liked, what you didn't like and again, you can ask them for a referral down the lane or you can at least ask them for can I practice a case with you as an expert? Building this support system, whichever way you want, is extremely, extremely important. Don't ignore this step. And once you are comfortable with all of this, then move into the case 
practice sessions. Now, how do you practice cases? I'm giving you a link to a LinkedIn post where I gave again links to close to 50 cases that are free and offered by different corporates from around the world. McKinsey is offering five free cases on its website. BCG is offering certain free cases. Bain is offering certain free cases. And I gave the links to all these websites and the specific cases on this LinkedIn post. Please go check it out and directly start following this. Once you have these sources from where you can practice cases, you need to start solving cases. For the first five cases, you just do it by yourself. Don't trouble anybody else because you are getting used to the entire process. Don't waste somebody else's time. Then after solving five cases by yourself, then go ahead and pick up some peers in your study group. Another five to 20 cases you solve with these peers and then finally move into the expert stage. In each one of these stages, for every single case, you need to start having one tracker, which says, hey, what are the three things that I did well in this case? And what are the three things that I did not do well in this case? I'm giving you the link to this particular template on this particular PDF. Go ahead, print it out and start using this template again and again and again, using the case number so that you can go back and see whether your mistakes are repeating or you're committing new mistakes. This is again very, very important from a practical improvement standpoint. Once you know these two things, then it is about solving the cases. And how does this information that you have gathered, learned so far, how is it going to help you in solving a particular case? Let's do that through a simple example. If your neighborhood Kirana store owner comes to you and asks, Hey Rahul, can you help me increase my revenues? Based on all the readings so far, you will have at least 10 to 15 ways in which you can help this person improve their revenues. You can tell them, improve your marketing spend, give out some free goodies or give them free deliveries or increase the store timings or spend more on organics or something else, something else. You can have a bunch of different factors. But what you don't know yet is how can you structure these factors in some meaningful groups? And that is what is coming through practice. In the same example, if you have to help the Kirana store owner in a meaningful way, if you tell these 10 things, the Kirana store owner will forget everything in the next five minutes itself. The better way to do it is you tell the Kirana store owner, there are three ways in which you can improve. Number one, marketing. Within marketing, you either give free deliveries or you increase the offers. Number two is logistics. In logistics, you increase the store hours or you hire one more support person so that the customer experience is better. Or number three is change the product portfolio. In the product portfolio, give room for more organics. This is much more easy to remember. And by the way, this particular portion of structured approach cannot come overnight. This is the thing that you keep practicing in every single case. I'm giving you a playlist from this channel itself where there are close to 15 videos and you can go ahead and start practicing cases and get some good tips from this. I want you to focus on two specific videos. First one is what are the five things that you need to speak exact sentences in a case interview? And the second video is about how do you solve a problem with respect to charts or graphs if it is coming in your case interview. Do watch both these videos specifically because that is something which I'm not covering in this video. Now, once you are complete with your case interview preparation, honestly, there is nothing called as being complete with case interview prep. It's only about how confident you are. You can move ahead and start building your answers for personal experience interviews. Again, a quick caveat over here. If you have specific industry experience, you would be practicing cases from that specific industry or you would be consuming the information also from the same industry itself. So let's move into now the personal experience interviews. Again, I'm giving you a link to a specific video from this channel where I gave a framework on how to attack the personal experience interview questions. And what is personal experience interview questions? It could be around, hey, what was your experience like a leader? What were the challenges you faced like a leader? What are some of the initiatives that you have taken in your corporate career? These are the kind of questions that are asked to test your leadership, to test your teamwork abilities and also your initiative taking abilities. And remember, use this framework. I'm giving you the link to all these things again in the PDF so that you don't have to worry about these links. Go ahead and build that framework specifically. Once you have that framework, it becomes easy for you to say, whatever question comes my way, I will start putting this particular story in front of the interviewer. 
just to highlight for every single story that you create or that you want to tell to the interviewer you need to be able to answer why did you do a specific thing what else you could have done and how did the opposite person react and finally what are the learnings for you from that specific situation once you use this framework and once you complete these stories then you are in a good position to go ahead and start giving out your personal experience interviews as well don't forget this framework because recently a guy reached out to me and told that hey pavan i have used this specific framework to build my stories and i could clear mckinsey interviews so i believe in this framework i was also an interviewer myself so i see how this can directly help you in cracking these interviews Please do let me know if you have more questions on how you can crack consulting in 90 days. By the way, I gave 50 plus cases but I don't want you to do more than one case per day because it gets overwhelming if you do more than one case a day. So, use that time wisely, one case a day, make sure you are writing down every single time what are the three things you are learning from the case and what are the three things that you need to improve after that particular case. Good luck guys I hope you will crack the interviews and come back to me and say that hey Pawan this video helped me in cracking that interview take care guys see you again bye bye